for the moment that not only for minor, but this could be also uh, fourth minor seven flat five fourth. And therefore, this can be D half diminished chord. Right? So it could be. It's a fact that before this, we should mention this one. Anyway, this is a D minor with the base of the flat side chord. When you see a slash like that, it means the chord, and then the slash means with the base of whatever is after the slash. In this case, flat second of D, we count D, E flat, so therefore it's D minor with the base of E flat. And it sounds like this. This is D minor, and this is D minor with the base of A flat. Or if we play the regular chords and then substitute or play it even after the flat six, I could use these and then go to the fifth seven flat nine. That sounds like this. Accompaniment and, and all those contexts there that was very much used, it's still very much used. This. So, this very important substitute of the so all these are substitutes, and of course, this is also a substitute. I put it far because these are a bit far out, but I should mention that the sharp four major, major seven, namely D sharp major, major seven, is also a substitute of the flat six. So if I use this three and then that, it sounds like this. So now we did first minor, flat seven, sharp four, major, major seven, fifth seven, flat nine. Again. Again I will play it for you. This is this way. Albums are these aspects that, of course, this method, you know, here I'm explaining just to give an idea for many people who is interested to learn this. But if you really want to learn it, you need to study this in Skype personally because you have to approach also from where you are and how can you, one thing that we explain, and the other is this is a general idea, but, but now you have to see how you will grasp it and make it make music with it because this is all music actually. It's not theory, but applied theory. Therefore, this very interesting sound this is with the sharp form. And then one more, which we will just for the moment mention that the second uh, minor seven flat five, namely B half diminished, is also a substitute of the flat six, then, then it will sound as follows first minor, flat seven, flat six, then second so the minus, so it would be this, this, then this, and then that. Flat 
second, sorry, seconds of diminished, fourths of diminished. So, and then of course the four minor with the. Progression generally, this four minor, four minor and flat second, and fifth seven flat nine, standard way, progressively. But there are more ways. In fact, I just posted some couple of months ago also some videos about ways to go to the fifth seven flat nine, and we mentioned I think at least twenty of those. But first, we need to get this very clear in every key. Once we do that, then we can go to the to the cousins of the cousins of the cousins of this family because these here are like the founding fathers of this and then start to create more children, more people. <laughs> these chords come from somewhere and it's very important that we understand them as best as possible and then compose music with it, analyze and enjoy more flamenco actually because this is the real understanding of, of the whole thing as these are the ingredients with which this music is made. So, therefore, to conclude, we repeat that the first four chords have these three substitutes, mainly, these have to be considered the main substitutes, mainly the flat third, the fifth minor, the fourth minor, and then also, this one here is a main substitute as well, D minor with the bass of B flat, or talking in the, in, in the really useful way with the Roman numerals, fourth minor over flat second. So, these are now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, which actually uh, became 11 chords. <laughs> La improvisación es algo que yo pienso que cada músico debería, cada músico del estilo que sea, del clásico, del flamenco, de cualquier otra música debería, debería aprender porque en la improvisación te da mucha libertad y a la vez te da mucho conocimiento de, de dónde estás tocando y cómo estás tocando, de qué armonías están en cada momento. ¿no? Muy bien, Pablo. Paco, ¿qué es para usted la música popular y qué es la música elitista? Yo creo que la música elitista es el refinamiento de la música popular. Por ejemplo, el flamenco. El flamenco originalmente es una música popular, la música del pueblo de Andalucía. Pero creo que ya no le pertenece más al pueblo, porque de pronto habemos gente que nos hemos pasado toda una vida encerrados puliendo esa expresión popular. Entonces ha llegado a un nivel en el que el, que el pueblo ya no, no, no tiene acceso, sobre todo a los matices que vamos consiguiendo la gente como yo, que nos pasamos muchas horas eh, elaborando esa música.